What's up guys today's video is on the top 5 best whisks. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information, on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices, like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Starting at number 5, we have the OXO Good Grips 11-inch Balloon Whisk. This 11-inch balloon whisk from OXO gets rave reviews across the board, and for good reason, the metal wires are strong enough to hold up to thick batters while still maintaining enough flexibility for whipping and fluffing, and the non-slip ergonomic handle makes big jobs a little more comfortable. Our tester loved the ergonomically designed handle that fit comfortably in her small hands. In a pumpkin pie batter, the wide body easily incorporated pumpkin, eggs, maple syrup, and spices, the lightweight design allowed for vigorous whisking without hand fatigue, and the mixture came out smooth. Our tester also appreciated the non-slip handle, which provided stability during mixing. After finishing the pie, she washed the whisk in the dishwasher and reported it looked like it just came out of the package when the cycle was finished. Moving on at number 4, we have the Foodville Professional Milk Frother. Most immersion blenders come with a whisk attachment for bigger jobs, but if you're looking for a single tool without extra parts, the Foodville 3-speed milk frother is a great option. Milk frother is just a trendy name for a small whisk with power, and it's especially appealing to those who want to make a coffee shop-style cappuccino at home. But this handy little gadget with two whisk heads and three speeds can also handle heavier jobs like eggs, sauces, and salad dressings. You probably want more power if you're mixing batter, but this definitely gets the smaller jobs done. And unlike similar items that drain disposable batteries, the battery is rechargeable using the included USB cord. A full pitcher of frothed milk for morning lattes was easy for our tester to prepare. She noted the frothing head was constructed with tight wires that quickly aerated a pitcher of warm milk. She also appreciated how simple attaching and detaching the heads was. It was an easy snap-in and snap-out procedure that was clearly illustrated in the instructions. She did report the whisk attachment was very small and only successfully blended a single egg, even at high speed. According to her, the Foodville Professional Milk Frother is adept with its intended purpose in smaller jobs, but batters and sauces will require a more high-powered option. For the affordable price tag, and small size that's easy to store, our tester thought this was a great buy. At number 3, we have the OXO Good Grips 11-inch Better Silicone Balloon Whisk. OXO seems to have mastered the whisk. Well, almost. This 11-inch whisk has the same structure as the balloon whisk, but the whisk wires are coated with silicone, making it safe for use in nonstick pots and pans. It's also nicely weighted throughout and safe to put in the dishwasher. The handle isn't made of heat-safe silicone, though it is heat-resistant up to 600 degrees. Our tester loved the versatility of this OXO model. She mixed a homemade caramel sauce on the stovetop and was impressed with the silicone coating. Nothing adhered to it while whisking, and it didn't scratch her ceramic-coated cast-iron saucepan. She noted the handle was comfortable to grip while mixing the heavy ingredients in her pecan pie like brown sugar, while still being lightweight enough to stave off hand fatigue. In her oregano vinaigrette test, she reported it was easy to angle the whisk into the bowl because of its flexibility. After all the tests, she put it in her dishwasher and ran it through the cycle. She said it came out pristine and looked like it had out of the package. The non-slip, ergonomically designed handle coupled with the wide balloon and silicone coating of the wires, make this a great addition to a gadget drawer or utensil crock. At number 2, we have the RSVP Endurance Stainless Steel Mini Whisk. At 9 inches long and less than an inch in diameter, this stainless steel mini whisk is super handy for whisking the small stuff and it fits more easily in a utensils drawer. You can use it to mix up salad dressings, stir hot cocoa, dissolve sugar or powdered creamer in coffee, scramble a single egg, and so much more. Some people even use it to mix baby formula. It's not meant to be your main whisk, but it's so nice to have on hand. Our tester found the RSVP Endurance easily whisked two eggs for an omelet, and the petite size allowed good control over whisk speed. The stiff wire of the whisk pierced the eggs readily, which made the whisking even easier. 
She also made a shallot vinaigrette, but found it took a lot of vigorous whisking to get the oil and vinegar emulsified. The only drawback is that it's so small, it's fairly easy to lose in a crowded carafe or drawer. Our tester concluded this is an affordable option that is fantastic with small batch whisking, but a larger model would be needed for bigger or heavier batters. This little whisk is dishwasher safe. Bonus. The tiny hoop on the handle is perfect for pitting cherries. And finally at number 1, we have the Rosal Stainless Steel and Silicone Flat Whisk. Beyond the classic balloon style, there are plenty of specialty whisks. If you make a lot of sauces, a flat whisk is a good place to start. The wires are arranged in a single layer that's perfect for scraping brown bits from the bottom of a pan while stirring bechamel, gravy, and other sauces. This silicone-coated flat whisk from Rosal performed excellently while our tester made a stovetop caramel sauce. She reported the silicone coating protected her saucepan while the flat shape made getting the bits on the bottom incorporated easy. The handle is slimmer than others making it not quite as comfortable while whisking, but the sturdy construction helped when she whisked a roux together for gravy. She appreciated the flat shape again as she was able to get all the browned bits on the roasting pan incorporated with the butter and flour. She also noted the handle, even though stainless steel, did not get hot while pouring hot stock into the roux. The one complaint our tester had was the manufacturer adhered the sticker to the handle. When removed, it still left a sticky residue that was hard to get off even after soaking in soapy water. But it's also dishwasher safe for easy cleanup, and heat resistant up to 500 degrees. Thanks for watching and that's all for now, I hope to see you guys in the next video, till next time.